Welcome to this week's Quick Charge. Last week we witnessed God becoming David's help, all that he needed just when he needed it. And God is help because help is essential in life. Sometimes God's help is unsolicited, meaning we need it even though we don't know to ask for it. This is the kind of help that helps me change. Joseph needed to prepare for his destiny, so God simply said, let me help you with that. I'll put you with brothers who will hate you and mistreat you and sell you to traitors willing to buy you. I'll find a woman who will falsely accuse you and her husband will be happy to betray you and a butler friend I can find who will disappoint you. For we need to temper and galvanize your spirit and fortify your character, deepen your worship and develop your faithfulness. That got him ready to rule. God knows that people are very handy and helpful in helping me change. David needed to prepare for kingship, for rulership, for leadership, and for his calling. So God said, let me help you with that. I need to find a man, preferably an authority figure, who's admired and respected, who's willing to throw spears at you, and prepared to do anything to see you fail, falter, and fall who is eager to deceive you and break his word. Yes, I found just the man, enter King Saul. Saul got David ready for the throne. There is a realization that we come to. Every significant change in our Jesus walk has come because God has been helping us. If I'm missing out or spacing out or losing out or falling behind or not responding as I should, well, no worries, God will help me. But I must recognize it for what it is to be beneficial because God helps some of his own and they just get angry, bitter, cynical, discouraged, frustrated, hard-hearted, hostile, indifferent, offended, resentful, and upset. So how do you recognize God's unsolicited help? Well, we can take it all from the testimony of Joseph. Number one, it's usually nothing that we have ordered or would have ever asked for. In fact, we didn't even know it was on the menu. It's unthinkable, something that is never in, has come to our mind. Joseph, in Genesis 40, 15, said, I was kidnapped and taken from the land of my people, the Hebrews, and I have done nothing wrong, and I should not be in prison. In other words, I don't ever remember praying for any of this. Secondly, unsolicited help may feel like you're going backwards when you're actually going forward. Joseph went down into the pit, down into Egypt, down into servitude, and down into prison. In fact, God told his father, do not be afraid to go down to Egypt. I will go down to Egypt with you, and I will surely bring you back again. We can feel like we're going backwards even while we're moving forward. And lastly, unsolicited help always accomplishes God's purposes. It's redemptive. No matter how disruptive or jarring it may seem, it is beneficial. In Genesis 41 and 56, Joseph said, the Bible said there was famine everywhere, so Joseph gave the people grain from the warehouses. Because of God's help, Joseph had the grain. His storehouse was full. God's help may look out of place. It may feel like you're going backwards, but it will cause you to finish well and whole. So keep your eye on the finish line and on the finisher. Keep your eye on the reward and the rewarder. Join me next week for another quick charge. God bless.